Breast compressions, a very nifty little trick for getting a bit of extra milk into babies that need it. So sleepy babies or babies that aren't gaining weight very well or um, having problems with milk supply or all of the above. Uh, using a hands on compression technique whilst they're feeding is amazingly effective. Um, but the very f most important thing, of course, as always, is making sure that you've got a good, deep, effective latch. So always reach out for support to make sure so that's the kind of key to everything is getting that nice deep latch. So assuming you have a nice good deep effective latch you're watching for the babies sucking um, and swallowing and when this swallowing starts to slow down that's when you can get in and start doing some compressions. It's not the same as when you're hand expressing so when you're hand expressing you're often using your thumb and fingers sort of um, an inch or so back from the base of the nipple and you're getting that real kind of rhythm going on. It's not quite the same as that. So what we want to do is actually be a bit further back on the breast tissue so that we don't dislodge the latch. Um, and rather than using uh, thumb and finger or pinching, we're actually going to kind of use almost the flat of your hand, the whole of your hand almost, um, to kind of just compress the breast tissue firmly but comfortably. So you do that when the baby is actually doing a bout of sucking. So they start sucking and you can compress. And then when they pause, you release. And when they start sucking again, you compress again. And you will probably notice that they will start to do those kind of more um, active drinking sucks and then they'll pause and you can release. And again, they'll start going and those more drinking sucks with swallows um, and then they'll pause and release. And then if they go back to those sucks where they're not really drinking much, try hitting around a different spot. Um, so perhaps, you know, around underneath. So they start again and you can compress there. Oh, and they start drinking again, doing those lovely glugging sucks. And that's a really good spot. And then they pause and then they start again so you can compress again. And that can cause, you know, it can cause a bit of extra milk flow, but sometimes it can almost cause another letdown as well. So that milk ejection reflex and really kind of surging a lot of extra milk to come forward. So um, keep watching what the baby's doing and whether they're glugging. If they're glugging really, really well and you've got lots of milk flowing because you've uh, stimulated another milk letdown, then you can stop compressing at that point and just let the baby kind of drink on their own. Um, but it works really, really well. So have a little go. Shouldn't be uncomfortable. Um, see if it works for you and let me know.